this screencast is a little bit about the share settings. It's something that you can do when you are trying to collaborate with other teachers or share documents with students. Easily done through Google Drive. You can share docs or sheets or slides or Google Sites. Many of Google Apps have the share option. So how you would do it is click the blue button and your share settings window is going to come up. Now if I was a student going to share this spreadsheet with my teacher and I just copy pasted this link right here and sent it to him or her in an email they wouldn't be able to view my spreadsheet and it would really be doing no good because I did not change the access level and right now it's only private to me to be able to view this so when students are sharing with you or vice versa make sure that you are changing the access levels so that anyone you send the link to can view it. I always share things with people as a can view um, only type of option because when you give editing rights that person can make changes and if it's the master copy of a document or something like that and you do that for a whole class then you've got multiple people editing that document and that might not be what you want for smaller projects groups can edit and have you know three or four or five people editing something that's a little bit more manageable but make sure you pay attention to what level permissions you're instructing your students to give and what you're giving when you're doing this and then you just save your option you can decide to make things public on the web that anybody can come across it and that's fine or just anyone who has access to the link this would be anyone who's in our domain under the MUHSD domain and that whether or not they have to log in or sign in is what you are um, choosing with these options specific people means maybe there's just one other person I want to share this with and I'm going to enter their email so I would do that down here if I wanted to share this spreadsheet with somebody that's a specific person I can keep it I can keep it private here and because I've put their name here they'll be able to do whatever I allow them to do right here I can choose to notify the person with an, an email that I'm doing so or you don't have to and I can also add a message that says hey I shared a spreadsheet with you um, or you don't have to add a message you can also send a copy to yourself if you need to be reminded of what you shared or something like that so that is just a quick overview of the share settings if you have any questions let me know thanks